Oxito. Oxito. Auto Oxito Auxiliary Oxito headlights here. Um, I just need some bright headlights, and on the 2010 uh, Cadillac SRX, it is notorious for just no light you can't see and it's because of that design so as you can see i've got good headlights i actually had them replaced um my buddy replaced them for me i bought them my buddy put them in for me but so you can see they're clear now we're gonna open these see what kind of packing they got a nice box came good shipped good um, no damage oh ho, ho, ho. white glove treatment people Look at that. Got the white glove treatment. Tire wraps. This is how you position your LED light inside. Mm. Those things look like they are no joke. That looks like it's from the future. Stuff feels pretty good. I bought some LED headlights that stopped working like after two weeks. Um for my other car so I decided that you know I need to get something a little bit more you know just better quality these feel like they're good quality to be honest with you I think these will be good and I think they'll fit in there so let me put on the white gloves and see if I can get them in there and then tonight we'll um, we'll see what we got and these are really nice these are bright, and I'm hoping that in the SRX it'll make it bright enough. White gloves, what you know about that? All right, looks like they're just plug and play, though. I mean, it's just going to plug right in there. So let's do it. I'll put on my gloves. A glove, at least. I'll be like Michael Jackson. Place these like Michael Jackson. All right, guys. We're back at it with our Oxito. LED headlights we're gonna put in here um, <laughs> man I've had so much trouble with the headlights in this 2010 SRX but as uh, we said these are really simple it's plug-and-play you just we well, can use our white glove treatment right now I'm just gonna leave it in the box but I'm just gonna show you guys that it's like any other headlight boom it's that easy nope um, these aren't like some kind of special connection where you need some extra fitting or something this is right out of the box it's got everything you need right there so there we go we're all installed and uh, put that in there get these installed and see what they look like at night obviously we're not going to get you much right now, but let's see what they look like at night. All right, I'm going to do the other side, and um, after this, should be a nighttime shot. All right, one other thing I want to show you is when your headlight is in there, it needs to be like this. So if you put it in like this and you're turning at 45 degrees, that ain't no good, okay? So basically, you want to put it in like this and turn it 45 degrees. And that all depends on where these go in at. Mine are very specific. I have to put mine in like this and then rotate it 45 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the orientation of that. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. And they, um, Oxito gives you everything you need in this little bag. They even give you the white gloves. Please use the white gloves, guys. You don't, you don't want to be touching. You want to make sure you don't touch the LED. You don't want to mess anything up. But right there, you'll see a little hole. And you just put that in there. Loosen it up a little. And once you get it loose, just ro rotate. And what you're really rotating is this harness right here. You see what I'm saying? You're not really rotating the light. So you rotate this harness 45 degrees, tighten it back up, 
And this is an important step if you want to get the best light out of your LED headlights. This is for any headlight, but for Oxido, they give you everything. And um, we just want to make sure you're getting the best light possible out of these LED headlights. So you got the best LED headlights and you're going to get the best light out of your LED headlight by making sure they're orientated properly. And that's each one of the sides of these LEDs. This should go to three o'clock. This one should go to nine o'clock or vice versa. You understand. This part should be vertical. The LED should be pointing horizontal. And there you go. Then you put it in there and twist. And it should be straight up and down. All right, guys, we are in the car. Those with the lights on. <laughs> Running lights. Lights back on. Those are high beams. Low beams. I mean, the difference between the high beams and the low beams... It's just that they're pointed higher. <laughs> I mean, these low beams are as bright as the high beams. Ooh. Man, it lights up everything. These are the Oxito 6500K lights. And they are bright. Alright guys, what I'm going to do, kind of give you another type of look, is I just took the LED out. Yeah. Just took the Oxito out of the driver's. I shouldn't have told you. I just took the Oxito out of the driver's side. What I'm gonna do is I had bought these really um, these are supposed to be high bright polarizing white. Polarizing white. This is brand new. Well, I was gonna use these, but then I decided to just go straight to LED. But these are. Polarizing, polarizing white. So I'm gonna put this in, and then what we'll do is we'll wait for it to get dark, and we'll turn them on and see which one looks brighter on the garage. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in right now, and we're gonna see see what happens. All right, guys. As you can see, I'm in the car. We're gonna try out the Oxito. Remember, I replaced. Um, Remember, I replaced the driver's side with a halogen. The passenger side stays Oxito. Let's start it up and see what happens. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys can see. Actually, I can see it. The right-hand side is the Oxito. It's almost overshadowing the halogen, but you can see out there on the halogen where it's barely, I mean, it's, it's not even close. Let me drive up a little. Look at the difference in the lighting. You can see right there that that halogen bulb, it, you can kind of see it fade into the Oxito, but the Oxito is putting out so much light. It's just overshadowing that, that halogen bulb. That's crazy, guys. I didn't, I gotta say, I, <laughs> really didn't expect that much of a difference but that's crazy that's crazy looking at it let me um let me get out and take you to the front and see what this looks like oh yeah you cannot see it um, you can't see it but this is super bright this halogen bulb is just, it, it, it's nowhere near. And that's a high quality halogen bulb. Actually, you can kind of tell how, I mean, just look how intense it is. Look how intense. And then, just low intensity. And if you were standing here and you actually could see it, you, you could definitely see a difference. Um, I'm very surprised at the difference actually. Um, I did not expect that even in my own results. You know, you see that on TV all the time, but that's crazy. I'm going to see if I can throw that other Oxito in here. I know it's late and I really don't want to be working outside, but let me see if I can get it in there and then I'll turn it on with both Oxitos. 
There you go. That's crazy. Crazy difference. Alright. Alright guys, again, still pitch black. I was able to get it in. Whew. A little bit tough, man. These cat these 2010 SRX headlights are a beast. Um let's see what she does when we turn it on. Wonder if these lights will go out. Probably not until I hit the car. There it is. See? It it's real. It's real, guys. Dang, that's crazy. It is actually real. These headlights are better. Better, they're just better. I'm just backing up to give you guys a view of just how good this looks. It's whole new level, guys. Whole new level, and I'm not tricking you. There's the high beams, okay? Even when the low beams stay on when you do the high beams, but look at that. Look, you can tell that the low beams are really providing all the light. I'm 100% satisfied with these guys, no doubt. No doubt. Oxito, check them out. I'll leave a link. Of course, I'll leave a link, right? Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below probably get some kind of cut off of it but it doesn't affect the price don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys appreciate it